Yo, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Dom Workman, and look, as much as I love passing the ball, bro, there's certain games where I can just tell if I don't drop 40 points, I'm probably going to lose. And if I want to drop 40, I got builds for that. But this build right here, I get on this build to pass the ball around and watch everybody else go for 40. But sometimes that just can't be the case. So as y'all can see, man, I'm on my 99 pass accuracy play shot. And if you watched the original build video, you remember that I said that I wanted to make a build where I could be an elite playmaker, but also take over on the scoring front if I need to. And it didn't take me long to realize I was going to have to throw on that Kobe jersey because one, my teammates was bricking, and two, for some reason I'm wide open. And y'all already know me, I don't care if I got a 33 ball, I'm letting it fly. If you're leaving me wide open, I consider that disrespect. Now I'm actually in here with one of my boys, man, but as you can see, the spacing ain't too bad for some randoms, man. So look, when I got spacing like this, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm gonna get a good look at a bucket. It's just on me to knock it down. But after I made that right there, I knew the 2K guys was on my side. And look, I was really trying to get to a right hand layup to kind of seal them off. But I forgot that I don't have slithery finisher on this build, man. But luckily, fearless finisher kind of bailed me out on that. Because if I had slithery, I might have been able to avoid that contact and go right into my layup animation. And that's what I'm used to doing, but it is what it is, man. But as y'all can see, man, it's about 40 seconds left in the second quarter. We up 31 to 27. I got 20 points and a half, 80% from the field. Now, right here, my boy kind of gets beat going towards the baseline. And the center tries to drop back to pick his man up. And listen, I got to blame my boy for that. Because look, at this point right here, bro, once you see your beat and you see that the center's down there chilling, you got to just go pick his man up release your man to the big let him take the inside let him guard the paint and you get the outside it's really that simple now right here is 31 to 30 man now nah, i would have held the ball for the last shot but as y'all can see we down a guy for some odd reason so i'm like you know what before they realize that we're down a guy and start doubling the ball and all that let me just go ahead and get a bucket and i'm thinking like bet we about to go into the half with the lead just play some good d but of course my man right here gives up a three out the corner wide open catch and shoot three and i swear to god man every game i lose in a wreck is because of one dude in the corner that can't guard his man and he gives up 40 off of catch and shoot threes i swear to god but as y'all can see man i got 22 at the half and it's basically a battle between me, the point guard, and the other team's center. But look, we come out the half, now my boy's going to drive and kick to a man in the corner. He kind of passes it up. I ain't really mad at it. Now, my guy rotates to the open man, but nobody rotates to me. So the big is kind of forced to run out there and jump at me to get a contest. But I let him fly by and I knock it down. Now, right here, I get a little bit too aggressive and try to dunk on the whole team. But luckily, they throw a bad pass up court, give it right back to us. And now I'm just being patient right here. My man plays off too far and right now i'm locked in so you already know i'm gonna let it fly so now we up one and my boy right here gets another clutch steal man and this is what i be talking about bro you don't have to be scoring the ball to have an impact on the outcome of a game that man ain't shooting well but it don't matter because guess what he's getting stops and them stops turn into points and the same thing goes for crashing the boards making an extra pass helping out pinching on the drive all that shit all the little things add up Everybody be too focused on scoring the ball, how many points they got. There's so many other things that matter when it comes to winning, bro. Now, right here is 41 to 40. I reject the screen. Corner stays home, so you know I'm just going straight to the rim. And the big man is way too slow to meet me there, so he ends up fouling. Easy and one, and I get the free throw to drop. So we up four, and right now they got somebody else bringing the ball up the court. But my boy reaches in the passing lane, throws himself out the play, and they end up getting an easy backdoor bucket. But anyway, we up two, and now right here they inbound to my boy. So I'm like, you know what, let me just space it out. He know what he's doing. He can make a play, too. And besides, I already got 30 points. I know niggas is tired of watching my bum ass score the ball. So look, he drives and kicks it out to a wing shooter again, wide open. He gets him a wide open look, but he ends up breaking it. And look, I understand, bro, there's nothing wrong with missing an open shot. Everybody misses, bro. It happens. But there's certain scenarios where it's just unexcusable, inexcusable. Like, come on, bro. You getting wide open, catch the shoots in the clutch, and you bricking? We can't afford that shit, bro. You got to lock in. But my boy's going to get the ball again right here. Now, he gets another good look at the rim, but he bricking too. So now I'm like, damn, I might be out here by my damn self. But I ain't too worried about him because I know he's going to get right if we really need it. But look, I drive right here, kick to another open man in the corner. Open corner three, break. But luckily, big man gets the board and goes back up with it puts us up four and i ain't really gonna get on the shooter that much man because like i said 
even though he wasn't shooting well, he was still playing great D. And it's like I always say, bro, as long as you give us something, I'm cool. I don't care if it's on offense or if it's on defense. I just need something. Because y'all know damn well it'd be some dudes out here putting up Tony Snell numbers, just running up and down the court, getting cardio in. But look, man, we up one. My boy's trying to make something happen. He drives right here, kicks it out to the big man up top. Now I'm open right here, and I think he was trying to get the ball to me. But this dude runs up there, intercepts the pass. Now he gets the ball back, but this time he icons it to me. I try to make the dot to the corner, thinking my man's going to run back up. And honestly, he could have shot that out the corner, and I could have shot the ball on the catch too, but... He dots the corner over there, he misses another wide open shot, it is what it is. But by now, y'all can see why I said that if I was going to win this game, I knew I was going to have to go for 40. And that's exactly why I made the build the way I did. Because look, the last thing I want to be out here doing is throwing dot after dot and just watching brick after brick. There ain't no way I'm watching that. And for all them dudes out there that be saying, yo, how is your name Dom Rick and you only got two assists in the fourth quarter and all this other bullshit? Well, I hope you realize that the only way somebody can get an assist is if motherfuckers can hit a shot. But I get a three to go and my boy right here hawks the inbound, gets another steal, throws it to me. I see the big man up top. I hit him wide open. He doesn't shoot it, but he still gets the bucket. And I ain't even mad at that, bro. If you know that your jump is broken and you see the opportunity to take the dunk, go ahead and take the dunk, man. Just give us something. Now, right here, dude ends up reaching on my guy in the backcourt and really i should have picked his man up but either way somebody was going to be open because he's way out of the play but look man third quarter's coming to an end i'm coming down the court now right here my man gets hit by the screen and i get a good look at a pull up three but i went out a little bit too wide and it kind of shook me up a little bit i tried to pass out of it ended up smoking the shot and i really don't know what i was thinking right there man because now that i'm looking at it that was really a makeable shot but anyway, man, look, we in the fourth quarter, man. Now we starting the quarter up two. So all we gotta do is get right, play some D. And all I'm really hoping for, but not really expecting, is, you know, for people to hit some damn shots. Like, damn, can I get some help out here, man? I'll never understand why I can find myself in so many games where I'm putting up 30, 40 points and I'm only winning by two. It's crazy to me. And it's not like I got 30, 40 points chucking bullshit. No, bro. I'm shooting 75% from the field. I'm taking high quality shots, getting good looks at the rim and converting. And as y'all can see, I got to work for damn near all of my buckets. I got to get myself open off the dribble. And the annoying thing is I got to sit there and watch my teammates give up wide open catch and shoots to the niggas on the other team. And I don't know about y'all, but if I got a guard on my team was getting to a bucket like that the least i can do is make sure i hold my man at least be in front of him and not give him no easy looks now right here i don't know what the hell my man was doing bro but as y'all can see i'm open again and i mean you're leaving the guy with 30 points to go press the inbound i don't think that's a smart idea but before i can even blink here we go giving up another dunk and like i said bro i don't care if they score i'm not asking for much but just make them work for it don't make it so easy for them if we play good dna still score fuck it they can have it they deserve it but just letting the motherfuckers streak down the court and get a dunk off the inbound is insane but my man makes up for his mistake and gets us a three back so we up three and right here big man's going to work because he does have a mismatch so he's doing what he's supposed to do and that's one thing that i be stressing to people man like you gotta identify mismatches in the game and take advantage of them bro it makes the game way easier now right here i get mismatched onto the center i try to walk back hit the three on him but i end up bricking it but because the big man had to guard me my center was able to get position to get the offensive board and right here i'm able to get the layup to go and i ain't gonna lie bro i saw on everything i was gonna get blocked right there because i was trying to go for a dunk but y'all know how 2k be doing man sometimes they turn your dunks to layups and i hope that's something that's gone in 2k24 because all that shit really is is a setup i'm thinking i'm gonna get a dunk if i know i'm gonna get a layup i'm probably not gonna take the attempt so i don't really know what they're trying to do with all that but if i input the controls for a dunk i would like to get a dunk 2k please and thank you but right now we up five and as y'all can see they're starting to get a little desperate and you can tell because they're taking shit like this that's really a bad shot but we down on the other end my boy got the ball in the corner two dudes standing on top of each other right here i don't know what's going on my boy gets a good look at a pull up but he smokes it so now they out on the break and i don't know what kind of offense they got going on right here center gives it to the point guard point guard gives it back to the big man cuts down the middle that's a good cut the pass is a little bit late but our big saw what was going on and he got down there and threw that shit out of here and honestly at this point i'm like yo did these dudes give up or what because i don't know what the hell they're shooting they're shooting half bars contested these motherfuckers is trolled out but we out on the break easy dunk and yeah right now it's looking like a wrap because they throwing full court inbound passes 
big man about to get a three second violation he's sitting over here trying to drop step niggas but anyway we get the ball back now right here i tell my boy to cut down the middle but he actually gets bumped by his man so that kind of fucked up what would have been an easy two but he makes something out of nothing and gets a bucket here now i'll never understand why randoms do the shit they do sometime like bro why are you double teaming a post score and leaving the three wide open we're up nine with almost a minute left in the game bro just guard your man on the three if they get a two they get a two but right here my boy's trying to make something happen man now he drives and kicks out to the center with sharp takeover again wide open but he ends up breaking again now this is crazy and this is why you can't ever relax in here bro if you're playing with these randoms and shit you can't relax bro you gotta keep your foot on the pedal keep your foot on the gas i don't care how many points you got if you got 50 points get 60 because i'm telling you right now no lead is safe now right here this dude cuts down the middle i try to dot my boy i figured the corner would drop but he ain't drop so right now he's trying to make something happen out the corner and he ends up taking a bad take so right now i'm like bro what is going on am i really about to lose this game right here and all that really happened was i stopped looking to score i started looking to pass a little bit more let other people handle the rock and that's why i be saying bro certain games where passing the ball around and being a playmaker and all that shit they ain't even worth it bro you will fuck around and lose a game trying to be friendly with these niggas and make everybody happy and shit go ahead keep trying to make everybody happy you're gonna take a happy ass l now look right here i try to dot this nigga wide open he don't even want to shoot it bro so he throws it to the corner and this nigga brick in two like nah bro these niggas gotta be drug dealers with all these bricks they throwing man this is insane but right here i just got my fingers crossed and i'm praying for a stop man because look if we get one stop we probably win the game and luckily this dude throws a dumbass pass we get the stop thankfully he throws it to me and y'all know i'ma just hold the ball get to the free throw line and knock him down they only got one second left in the game bro there's no way they're gonna come back but i'm telling y'all man y'all see what i go through in here this random wreck shit is not good for your mental health bro i'm trying to tell niggas and that's really why i had to stop giving a fuck about this shit because if you care about this shit too much bro it'll drive you crazy but look man i hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay man as always i appreciate all the support if you ain't following me on twitter man be sure to give me a follow over there at be like dom y'all already know what it is man stay up i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one